Hi, I'm Dorian Williams, Learning and Development Manager here at the San Antonio Area Foundation. And we have here with us today, Miss Ashley Allen. We're so glad to have Ashley here with us today. She is one of our graduates, actually, from the Our Lady of the Lake Certification Program. This is one of our many partnerships that we have with our local universities and programs of higher education. And we're so glad that you're here with us today. We have a lot to talk about, and primarily we're going to really share with our audience um, on some of the, the benefits and the takeaways from this great program. Ashley is actually the co-curricular campus coordinator at Great Hearts Texas. So Ashley, why don't you start uh, with telling us a little bit about yourself and really what you gained from the program. Thank you, Dorian. Actually, I enrolled in this program before I had this position at Great Hearts Texas. I enrolled in this program because I've always had a dream to found my own nonprofit organization. So my whole career has been in nonprofit organizations and different nonprofit ministries, but I've always known I wanted to found my own. And so that dream has just been within me. However, I've heard many times that there are so many people who found nonprofits and then in a couple years that nonprofit or that ministry fails because the person, although they have so, so much passion, like I do, I have so much passion, they didn't have enough know-how to sustain that organization. And I do not want that to be my legacy that I leave for that nonprofit organization. So I knew that I needed to take time to invest into myself and to invest into my dream so that the nonprofit could really have a sustaining vision, but not just have the passion that I already bring to the table, but to have that competence behind it to really sustain it. So I started this program and then I got hired at Great Hearts Texas where I serve as a supervisor of teachers there and I direct our co-curricular programs. That's awesome. First of all, congratulations on your on your new position. Um, and I think it's it's actually perfect to interview you because you'll have an opportunity to share what you learn versus really if it's transferring and if you're using it on a daily basis. So what would you say from that transfer of learning standpoint and also, you know, what was one of your gains and some of your gains you see that are helping you with your current position? This position is my first supervisory role. And so I was very excited about it, but I, I didn't know everything that a supervisor needs to know. And first time supervisors need to be trained. And this, this program has been what has been my training grounds, not only coming to class to learn so much about supervisory skills and management and everything about leadership development, fundraising, all nonprofit management skills. I come to class and I learn them and then I go to work and apply everything that I have learned. And I can say there are days in a row that I go to work and I think, wow, I only knew how to face that situation because I learned that from the program. Or I'll have an encounter with a parent or an encounter with a student or just um, team building skills with my, with my team of teachers. And I've learned those tips from the classes that I've taken here with this program. And I can say that when I started this position at Great Hearts, I lacked confidence in my supervisory skills and um, just I know that the role of a leader is important and it's a privilege and a responsibility that I don't take lightly and so I wanted to invest in myself as the leader and so now I can say that what I've learned with this program I apply every day in those leadership skills and my supervisor has actually commented to me that she's noticed things that I have grown in and just areas of leadership that um, I've, I've taken some initiative on and that she's noticed and I can say that it is because of the skills that I have learned through this program such as the management skills and the people skills and um, how to handle conflict and how to um, avoid um, pitfalls because of proactive thinking and proactive planning and so I'm so grateful for everything that this position excuse me this program has offered me in this position so um, my takeaway is I started this position and this program with a lot of passion and a lot of love for nonprofit organizations but now I have the confidence and the competence to really sustain the work of nonprofit organizations and to have a sustaining vision to do the important work, but do the important work well and with excellence. And um, 
I'm just so grateful for this opportunity to be a part of something that has shaped me so much in my career. Thank you so much. That's awesome. That's really awesome to hear because for us here at Area, you know, one of our core values is excellence. And I heard you repeat that over and over again. And then from a learning and development standpoint, again, as I mentioned um, earlier, for us, it's transfer. Does it work? Um, are we teaching you the right things? Are the facilitators bringing the right skill sets? And uh, so this is a great testimony, um, not just for us here at Area, but for also for those who are interested and taking the program and following you. And I'm sure you have no problem mentoring them because you have all these skills um, to go along with your passion. So we're so glad that Ashley had a chance to come share with us today. This is a great, great win for not only area, but, you know, the area foundation, but also for the nonprofit sector and all of those stakeholders that are learning and gaining from, uh, from her work and people like her, graduates like her. If you would like more on our OOLU certification program, uh, and you want to enroll, you can do so year-round. There's no entry point. Uh, there are no entry points. You can enroll whenever you desire to. Um, and also, if you want to know more just about the program particulars, the competencies, the different types of certification that Ashley mentioned, um, you can go to our website. Please visit us uh, at saafdn.org. And you can learn more about that program, but it's just one of our programs. We have another program as well uh, that we have entered in partnership uh, with the HEB School of Administration uh, over at the University of Incarnate Word. And so we're excited about that one. And that one's geared strategically for supervisory and management. So we're really, really excited about that. And speaking of that, we're going to have another graduate here tomorrow that graduated from that program. So you get a chance to hear the differences, some of the nuances, and you get an opportunity to figure out what program is for you. Remember, if you haven't already done so, please fill out the survey. Uh, the survey link is at the bottom of our video that you're watching now, and that is for uh, free enrollment to one of these programs we're talking about. So please don't miss out on this great opportunity to learn. So that's it for today from us. Ashley, thank you for being here with us. We're so grateful. Thank you all for tuning in, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.